Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today, we're going to be making a beat with Heat Up 3. It's a rompler, meaning it plays preset sounds. No sound design. It's basically a collection of high-quality presets. And let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Waste no time. Let's load up a Heat Up 3. First thing in order, we need some drums. So let's go for our drum kits and just pick one. We're going to be a little crazy. Hopefully, this is great. Um, they, they have very thick styles to them meaning like when you pick one they typically are going for a certain vibe i'm going to change my tempo to 80 and i already have the metronome on which just helps me when i'm sequencing my first few things and i'm not going to play things in this time i'll mostly just uh sequence in uh, let's get our kick and snare down kind of the fundamental part of the beat so let's go for a do 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 something like that and then we can do some offbeat stuff this stuff is just kind of for interest, but our main idea is this. So we're gonna do this on each one, and then we'll have this like off kick. So we'll have a pretty, it's a pretty good sequence. And let's see here. Yeah, let's go for maybe a snare. And for this, let's let's get the volumes a bit in order. We want the first one to be louder and the second one to be softer. We'll have these get a little bit louder as they go. This will match the loudness of the first, maybe a little bit less, but pretty much the same. Um, this will be lower, and then this one will also be a bit lower. The snares can just ring nice and loud, maybe as loud as the kick. I don't know, it's more of a more of a spectrum thing. Okay, so while we're here, the drum kits do line up, like they follow a pattern, so we could just try out another one real quick. Yeah, maybe not that one. Oh, we'll verbed out. I think we have a winner with the first one that, that we picked here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go with this. Um, let's lay down some hats now. And let's do this for four bars. Now, on the fourth bar, we should do something different. And arguably, you know, we could change up this bar right here a little bit too. So I think these two being the same will work out. But maybe this one and this one be a bit different. The last one can be a bit crazier because you know it's the last it's the last one. So maybe we move this that'll be kind of a break from our main idea. And then maybe we have a, a repeating pattern like this one here. And uh I think maybe we leave that off. I don't know. We'll really break it up on the last one. Yeah, maybe that's not such a good idea leaving it completely alone. And maybe we'll have like three of these hit right here. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I do want to leave this alone. So maybe we'll play with this and put down a this other ID that we have here. It's kind of working out. I meant to delete that, not zoom in. <laughs> okay, cool. So we've got a little bit of space. It's okay though, cause you know, we're gonna have other stuff in the beat. So as long as it's just not all the time, I think it'll work out. So that'll take care of our basic, you know, kind of fundamental thing. So let's lay this down um, and let's add in a hat. For now, I'm gonna do this all in the same thing. So let's give this a name, shift click it. And I'm gonna call it drums uh, to rename things quickly. And let's look for what kind of hats do we have here. So 16th notes might be the call here. Um, let's just do 16th notes. So I'm hitting control B to duplicate. I don't know why it's control B. I don't know if there's like a reason it's it's B. I guess it's for banger. I don't know. Um, and let's go ahead. Let's change these velocities to something a little more reasonable. So I control click to select all the notes and I right click to just sort of set them as a line. So this is kind of monotonous for now, but we're gonna fix that. Uh, since these are hats, we could shorten them up just a touch and we can grab these and let's go ahead and give them a little bit more pizzazz. Uh, so I'm gonna do this sort of rising thing. I think that'll be kind of kind of nice. And we'll also add in a few flares and humanize it just a touch, uh, just to make it a little bit nicer. 
So I'm kind of going for the uh, opposite of what we're doing with the drums and making the first, the ones where the kicks are loud, I'm making those ones softer. And I think there's like a tool, a scale tool. I think there's ways to do what I'm doing right now, but hey, you know, being a little more personal with your notes never hurt. You get a little bit of randomness in there. Like, like these ones are softer than these later ones. Uh, we may want to uh, raise that up just a smidge then. Okay. Yeah, something like that will be fine. Okay, so to fix this, like, really, really, like, the machine kind of vibe to it, um, one thing I like to do is this beat and this. So this is the one and. If you mess with those, you're going to mess with, like, more of a a swing kind of vibe kind of thing. If, I, if I'm going to move notes around, I typically favor these. You can move them all around to make them sound more human, but I think that moving these two is a little bit safer of a bet usually, so I'm just gonna sort of squeeze these guys around randomly. Again, there's probably a tool for this, but I am like, I'm hardcore, okay? And I, I do things. Let's move this one backwards, and we'll do these two a little bit forward. So we're just, you know, varying it up some less so. Maybe there's one that's like perfect, I don't know. Like that one, maybe we leave the fourth one alone. And yeah, I generally do this sort of randomly. Maybe we'll move the third one on this one just a smidge and the first one on that one. Uh, because this is just, you know, if, if you don't play it in, this is kind of what you got to do if you don't want it to sound too robotic. I was maybe a little heavy handed here with some of these, but whatever, you know, it'll, it'll add to the vibe a bit. Okay, so with this, um, let's look at just some other elements. Maybe we add in a little thing right there at the end. And then maybe, okay, so, and let's also look at some uh, hi-hat fills. Maybe a little triple kind of deal there. I actually think just keeping it straight, that's gonna work out. All right, so let's leave this for now. Add another heat up, and this time, let's look for some keys, maybe a flute. Let's go into flutes, who knows? Maybe we'll get something good. They got like ethnic flute here. Okay, cool, uh, let's go with that, why not? I kinda dig it. And that'll be our, our layer one. Um, in here, we have some effects. The reverb, let's just pump this up. I dig that. Um, let's add another element now. We might add more to the flute, so we should probably name this too. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's name it flute. And let's go for another flute. I don't know. Classic, spelled really weird. Let's go for higher notes here. Let me move my keyboard up here. Right here. Do 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 do. And we'll make these like soft just in the background. And we will also verb these out to kingdom come. Bring the mix up, bring the damping down, the size up maybe. Sure, we're not. Okay, uh, let's look for another heat up. We'll call this like flute two. Um, or you know what, uh, while we're here, let's complete out the idea to four phrases. So we'll do it again here, but this time we're gonna use the notes for F minor. So that's gonna be an A flat, which will be that one. Um, that'll be a, 
or that's a, whoops, that's an F sharp. <laughs> a flat's that one. We'll put an F there and a C there. That, that'll that work. So you just move the middle two notes so it'll kind of work. Since this is already on an F anyways, so I guess we're going to, I guess we're going to be an F minor maybe. Okay, well, we need another vibe for it. Oh, I loaded the other way. I normally don't load this way, but uh, recently I've gotten in the habit of doing this. Okay, so we want a heat up. So we'll do that. And let's go ahead and go for... I feel like we still need some stuff. Let's see if we can layer in the bells here. Um, I don't know. I don't have like any particular bell sounds I'm already familiar with. But this this could work. Well, let's just have this be a layer. So we'll copy this in, paste it. Does it does it work? Let's take this move down. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, let's try another one. So we're on Ash Aston Dreams. Uh, they've got one called Bell Flute. So maybe it'll meld better. Oh yeah, I kind of like. It's got that synthy vibe. And let's um, also give this the reverb treatment since we're just verbing it up. And let's have this have an echo at the bottom. So this would be like kind of continue on this, this drone on F. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So we'll call this like flute bell because why not? Uh, let's add another heat up. And this time, let's go for some... They have choir. I'm just curious what's in here. I mean, I don't know. I feel like a choir could go. Classic sort of choir. They've got big major. Okay, it's the major chords in their pick. Let's not do that one for this. Yeah, this, this kind of this kind of the vibe, right? So we'll go for like, we'll call this like choir. Oh my goodness. If you click, if you shift click to the edge, it gives you a different menu and it gets me all the time. Uh, we'll call this choir. I used to misspell that all the time. Okay, so here at the choir, we're going to be a little bit more cheeky with. Can we, polyphony, is that a thing? It is. So we're going to go this and then we'll have it do this. This way we get a little bit of taste of that harmony. Maybe we'll move it up to here. So we're going to have like this notion of like a F major or whatever and then like an F minor. Or this is a C, a C minor, and then an F minor. Uh, so this will be fine. And these are also very soft already, so this might work. And let's have these echo out past. I feel like it'll work. Okay, no, we're not gonna have them echo out. We will give them the verb treatment, like all the other things. So they just naturally bleed over. So it'll eventually die out um, in a nice way. Okay, so let's add in a bass, an 808 of some kind. I did it again. I don't normally load things this way, I swear, but it is kind of convenient. And so maybe that's why I'm doing it more. If you right click, you get this, which is better. If, you, if you've added it here, because you only see the stuff you want there, there. Uh, so let's go for 808s. This is going to be, I, I really like playing these in and fiddling, but the thing is if I fiddle on the keyboard, this is why I'm writing stuff in, I will be here all day. So we are going to just write something in. But let's, let's see here if we can't get a thing going. So we might want to extend the phrase out just a bit, but I think we have a good bed. Might add some more elements and stuff in there, but um, let's see here. Where, do, where does our, oh, first off, Let's make this louder by default. Does it just... Oh, it's got no sustain on this one. I'm not the biggest fan of this tone anyways. It's cool, but I don't think it's it's what we want. Let's, let's go up here, maybe. Do we have any that are really... I think I'm going after this Afro trap stuff. And then, so we've got polyphony on this, something I don't want. So down here in the corner, there is a mono. 
And we're just going to turn that on. And we'll turn the portamento on a little bit just to get a little bit of that little glide thing. But it's, uh, let's keep it under like 50 milliseconds maybe. It gets on a little goofy high, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if we want to keep it or not. Okay, we'll keep this general vibe. We'll probably have this do a little bit something of a different rhythm here. Like maybe we'll go up, maybe we'll go down instead. Hit that the same, and then here. Will this re-trigger on each one? I don't think it will, because we made it legato. So we might have to do double notes there. So we'll have these bend down each time to the same notes that will land slightly after. And we'll have the kick, now that we kind of know what's going on there, where's this kick? We'll have the kick do the same thing. We can now begin to align the parts just a bit better. Okay, with this uh, new addition, I'm hearing more of these trap rolls in my head a little more clearly. Like here. I know there's a chop tool, okay? Uh, you can come after me. I like being particular, all right? I could have used the chop tool. <laughs> Put another one in here. I might, you know what, just to save myself some of this hassle of constantly shortening notes, we're just gonna do this. Whoops, I didn't mean to, I am messing with the wrong things there. I don't know about this first roll, the second roll on the first measure. I might get rid of that. But Maybe we'll add on right there just for extra fun. Okay, uh, on this kick, um, let's call it, you know, 808. I'm not going to mix this here because um, maybe I will. I don't know. It, we'd be leaving heat up a big time for, you know, the tutorial would be about something else then. <laughs> so probably not. Uh, let's just uh, try out a couple other kick layers uh, with this. So let's pop, paste this on over. Uh, let's make this mono as well. Let's just do the same patch. Okay, 
um, for these, let's go ahead and select them and hit Control L. That's just gonna send them all to Mixer Track so we can begin to mix this a little bit. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna grab a Wave Shaper and just uh, pump this a little. Yeah, I already want to start doing like spatialization and, and just sticking stuff in more clear of a space. Um, one other thing before we wrap up, probably heat up before I would really start taking a harder look at the mix, is um, keys. I think some sort of a key thing could work. I, I don't know if I want just straight pads, but let's, let's just try straight chords um, just to fill it in, or maybe some sort of an ARP. Oh, that was like a banger right off the bat. I really like that. This is the Atmos Grime uh, from the Grime expansion. Um, and let's go ahead and just uh, stick this in here. We already know the chords. They are C minor and F. Uh, let's maybe go for an open voicing. And with chords, there's a lot of power if you voice their... When I say voicing, it's like the notes you pick. So C minor has certain notes. Like these, these are the notes in C minor. Uh, so an open voicing is like where you take these and you split them up so they're far apart. Since we already have a C, we could toss another C on here. And then there's another layer. So what, how loud the notes are is also like really important. So I'm gonna make this bass note a little bit louder and these two notes a little bit softer and this top one somewhere just underneath that. Let's just see if that works, you know, at all. Maybe you go a bit higher. And I said C, but we're, we're playing Fs on everything the whole time. So maybe instead we want to go for an F vibe. So if we just scoot this up, F, C, A flat. I say A flat because no one says G sharp and they're spelling F minor. And uh, F7, maybe lower it. And on the second hit, maybe we have this do something else. We're, we're gonna we're gonna lower all these at once. Um, so on the second hit, let's have the C go up one. Why not? And the G sharp come down one. So, so we'll have another sort of strange voicing. Same notes, just different octaves. Something else worth looking at, this is really starting to vibe, um, is just slightly, you know, no keyboardist, unless they're like a robot, hits them exactly the same. I mean, they, it's not hard to do, but you know, this can, especially with this particular style, can go a long way towards making things sound a little more real. And if you really want to be particular, you could think about how they might strike it and what notes might get hit first. Uh, it could pay off sometimes. So I do want to experiment with the scale tool because I want to change all these velocities, but I want to change them all at the same time. So it's like a, a level. Or you know what? We could just mix the level. What am I doing? That's like overly complicated. I like this spread. So let's just send it to a mixer track and change the level. If you hit Control X, uh, let me show you what I was going to do, but I wouldn't recommend it for this case. Um, Control X, not Control X, Alt X. You get this multiplier and you see how I can like move them all at the same time. That's pretty dope. But uh, we're not gonna do that because I'm happy with this and we could just make them softer. So why, why get complicated? Hit control L, why the channel selected, send it to a track. All right, so let's, uh, let's just get this level figured out a bit more. Okay, I'm going to clone the hat. I want more control over this hat, dang it. And we are going to call this the hat. Oops, my hat spelled weird. Weird capitals. Um, let's grab this. So control click, control X, close this jazz. Come in here. There's another way to split patterns. That's uh, really easy too. But I don't like using it because it would split everything and I only want the hat. 
So let's send this to its own track. And if you hold control and scroll your mouse, we'll be able to move them all. I'll bring this down. The reason it's dumping them after these is because there's these channels here. So let's uh, get rid of those because we're not using them. Uh, okay. Easier to just change level than to go in and change all the velocities. Okay, because I, I actually like the balance we have with the velocities, so this is just going to be a bit simpler. I think the do 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 do. I think we could find another layer that's kind of like a feature layer that lays on top of that. That would be cool. So let's grab that. See how much faster that is. I don't know why I've been loading them the other way. We'll call this like main flute main lead thing. It's not really going to be a main lead because it's just going to play these like little echoey bits. But I don't know. Let's look. Um, so we got more flutes, maybe another flutes, uh, the call. Um, I'm going to rely on the 808s mostly for that. We could go for a string thing that could work. I don't know. Let's go for a, let's continue in the flute, the flute category here and just look at what we got. We got this Afro trap. It's been good luck so far. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. So let's copy this. Let's paste it in. So these might be a bit loud. And let's uh, raise these up. Yeah, somewhere maybe around that. Let's uh, finesse it a bit more. That's a bit hair louder. I left it where it was, basically. Make it a tad louder so it pops out a bit more. Now these ones, we'll leave this, since we have three of them, let's do like a little cheeky thing. Let's move one like slightly to the left and one slightly to the right. So we'll have like the one down the middle. Uh, main lead should be down the middle, we'll move this one. So this is like layer one, layer two, main layer. Yeah, and I would get a lot crazier with uh, the mix here because there's this, we've got all the elements now, we just have to sort of put them together. But I'm going to call it there, but hopefully this gives you an idea of just how quick you can move with heat up. If you know what you're doing, it's pretty fast. Um, you can get your beat up and running. I favored the single pattern workflow. I know some people like to have everything on separate patterns. Uh, but, you know, in this case, uh, this, this really works. I like being able to see all the ghost channels at once. And usually it's pretty easy to tell if it's drums or not. So you can quickly switch between things. It's kind of a style I like doing with this sort of a thing. Looks way less impressive in the piano roll, though, because it's like one big old pattern. So you might split it up later if you want it to look, you know, more impressive, I guess. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Let's hear a end, end bit. So there you go. Again, nowhere near done. I have a lot of things I'd like to add to this, but as far as the sequencing and adding parts, I think we got that and demonstrated how good it is at doing that just fast. Not, you don't have to spend a ton of time looking for your usable sounds. Pretty much all the sounds are dope. You just have to you know, have an idea of what you want to do with them. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.